I think uh, the pattern of consumption in the major markets like India, China, EU depends uh, A on local crops and B on the competitiveness of palm oil which means the price relationship between palm oil and soybean oil, palm oil and sun oil. Fortunately, in the last one month, palm oil has become much more competitive. Last uh, several months, almost a year, the differential between palm oil and soft oils was very narrow. But in the last one month, we have seen this differential expand, expand dramatically to almost 80 to 100 dollars a ton. So on that basis, I would expect that palm oil will regain some of the markets that it had lost, mainly in countries like India. To give you an example, in India, whilst Indian imports went up by 50% in the last five years, palm oil imports went up by nothing. They were stagnant. Soybean oil imports went up by 400%. Sun oil imports went up by 200 percent. So clearly palm oil had become uncompetitive. It's not that Indians don't like palm oil, they love palm oil, but it's expensive relative to the other oils. So the world, particularly developing countries, India, China, the whole of Asia, price is very important. And now after a long time, we are once again very competitive. So that is the first change. The second change I think is that palm oil is going into better and more sophisticated uses. The entire big gamut of speciality fats has opened up. So I expect that going forward into the next 5 years, 10 years, we will see more and more exports of speciality fats from Malaysia rather than the export of just CPO or RBD only. So those are the slight changes in consumption that I foresee. MSPO is a step in the right direction, no doubt about it. Yes, uh, certified certification means the product is better, always, that the practices are better, they are more sustainable, more friendly to the environment. So Malaysian palm oil will definitely take, get an advantage. The problem is that your biggest competitor, Indonesia, is also introducing ISPO or Indonesian uh, Certified Sustainable Palm Oil. And of course, then there is the RSPO. But my point is that if you had not brought in MSPO, you would have got left behind. Now, with MSPO, you are going to compete very, comp uh, very vigorously for the sustainable market. And in my opinion, any form of certification any form of raising of standards is good for our product and for our markets. Uh, well, uh, what has happened is that we have just come out of a very cruel El Nino which reduced production, curtailed production. Now, about a year after the effects of the El Nino are gone, we expect production to come back, to revive. You know, the oil palm is very generous. What it takes with one hand, it gives with the other. So, I am afraid we are going to see a lot of palm oil plus big crops of soya, big crops of sun. It's not, fortunately, demand is also expanding. So, I think prices will be flat to lower, at least for the next six months. Six months is a long time. It only takes one problem of weather in one part of the world to change the dynamics of the market. But for the time being, for the next six months, I expect palm oil prices to be flat to lower. Not very low, I am only saying that from the present level of about 2600 ringgits on the BMD third position, we will probably go to 2200, which is still very good compared to the cost of production. But it means that our plantations, our smallholders will have to continue to attempt to be more and more competitive, more and more efficient. As I said, the biggest factor is the supply. 
the supply is going to increase not only of palm oil but also of soybeans, sun seeds, rapeseed, everything. So, but supply depends on weather and weather is ever changing. So, what looks like burdensome supply today may come back into equilibrium in six months time or may result even in a shortage in one year's time. I, I, I am very fond of an English saying which says, the seeds of the next bull market are sown in the present bear market. So, I would say that palm oil is still a very attractive industry, very good for smallholders and the future in fact looks even better. Is climate change still a major factor that will influence price? Yes, climate change will remain a major factor in the world. Green policies will always be in evidence. Uh, and for that reason, uh, I think the, uh, the mandates for biodiesel, particularly in the producing countries like Indonesia and Malaysia, are very important. Brazil is very active on mandates. Perhaps it is more active than even Indonesia and Malaysia. Uh, the United States is very active on mandates. The EU is very active on mandates. So, at least until the year 2020, all these mandates will be in place. The EU will be the first to review its mandate in 2020 and we will have to see. But my feeling is that climate change and the environment is so important that it would always be top of the agenda. And palm oil industry as a producer of a renewable oil and a major producer of a renewable oil and oil which is sustainable, which is economically eco-friendly will definitely be in the forefront. Well, first of all, many congratulations uh, on 100 years of palm oil. What I would say is that for the first 90 years, you had the world at your feet. There was no competition. You were the number one, the unassailable champion. But in the last 10 years, Mal Indonesia has overtaken Malaysia as a producer and is now competing with you very fiercely for markets. Competition is always good. It leads to better product, more competitiveness, more efficiency. So we should always look to the future. The good thing is that the, there is a huge scope for consumption of oils and fats in the developing world to catch up with the developed world. So the, the area for expansion of markets is literally limitless. So I am sure if you and I are alive 100 years later, we will still be talking optimistically about palm oil in 200 years time.